what are you thinking of doing today? I mean, I really want to play with some bronzes and golds. Everything very dewy, glowy yeah, skin. Perfect. You know, Dream. summer's around the corner. You may as well look radiant. Yes. Dream. Dream. When I hit bronze, dewy, gold, I'm sold. You're sold. Perfect. So I just use a little bit of um, the Luminous Silk Foundation. I always use 5.5, which is uh, a great cover for great color for me. I love this one. It's a staple in so many makeup artist yeah. kits, so tried and true. So you already got that on, so I'm just going to pop these under your eyes. No. Oh, they are cold. Yeah, they're cooling. Yeah. A lot no, of it's the blood flow, those so it really, plumps really up, so cool. It gets rid of any like darkness. Which ones are these? The Skin Iceland ones. Yeah. And what I love about them is I'll kind of conceal and do a little bit more base around them and then the eyes and then it kind of creates a shield for any shadow fallout. Yeah. And then I'll take them out and... No, they feel really cool. And I love these ones because they don't slide. A lot of them have like a yeah. jelly on them mm -hmm. and then they just kind of like end up down here. I really like to use the beauty blender when I do skin especially. Yeah. The porous um, texture of the sponge mimics the skin texture. So I just like oh, to press. Oh, is that it. why I like it? <laughs> I, like I always make... wondered like what it was that I liked so much about yeah. the Beauty Blender finish. It, and it's like, really it's true. It, the yeah. sponge mimics the kind of pores in the skin. You know, when you use uh, your hand or a brush, sometimes you can leave like strokes yeah. or anything. So I just like to press a lot of it yeah. in with the blender. Yeah. So I'm going to start with your brows. Mm -hmm. This is the Universal Brown Dior pencil. And I love this one because the color is really ashy. There's not a lot of warmth to mm -hmm. it. Use two different pencils. This one to kind of get the shape and then fill in with um, another color, a little bit lighter. This eyebrow is like, always got two or three hairs that like grow at an, like they grow down. Right here. And <laughs> yeah. I think this eyebrow is where I spend the most amount of time when I'm doing What's my makeup. It's so frustrating. What's that saying? They're sisters, I not twins? I should be sisters, not twins. But I have like one gorgeous sister on one side and one like <laughs> ugly sister on the other. A little stepsister. <laughs> so I get the shape with the pencil that I'm pretty into. Mm -hmm. And then I'll go in with a little bit of a powder. Which powder do you use? I like the IT Cosmetics brow powder. Oh. And so what do what effect do you get from layering the, the, the pencil and then I like the powder? To do little brush strokes almost with the pencil to uh -huh. mimic little hairs. And then with the powder I just kinda soften the whole thing to kinda continue the shape. Ooh. That's a good brow. <laughs> I love brows. They really do change the whole face. They really do. But this is incredible. So this is just... And I haven't used it on myself personally. I've okay, cool. keen to try So it. this is a clear white soap. And basically, it just acts as a really strong pomade mm -hmm. for brows. And you just get it wet. This is just... I'm just using like the Chanel mist, the sublimage mm -hmm. mist. And get it wet with water mm -hmm. or like a dewy spray, whatever. Take a spoolie. Mm -hmm. and just kind of get the excess off. Put it just right through. Just comb like to comb them straight up. And it just kind of really takes each hair and makes it its own so that you can really get that fluffy definition. I really, really do want to try this on myself. Yeah, they look cool. And then once that's in, I can kind of see where there's little places. I just want to add a little bit more color. I love that you're as diligent of a brow as I am. I love brows. I honestly, it's, if there's something off on the brow, I can't even see anything else on yeah. the whole photo. So to begin with the eyes, I'm just going to use a paint to kind of ask as a little primer on the mm -hmm. lid. This one is Lay in Low by MAC. I'm just going to put it all over the lid and in the socket just so that everything sticks really well. And I like the paints as a primer because you still get a little bit of color. And so is this actually a primer or is it no, an eyeshadow? It's an eyeshadow paint pot. So it's technically an eyeshadow. It doesn't move and it really prevents other shadows when layered from creasing. I'm gonna start with matte shadows and then layer like shimmering and like really luminous ones over it. So I'm gonna start with this. This is the Visart palette, hands down my favorite I've never seen matte this. eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take that and just kind of focus it on the outer half of the eye. With this whole eye, I kind of want it to be really kind of like elongated and lifted. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to focus most of the attention to the outer corners and just slightly lift it up. Everyone likes a lift. 
That's pretty pet it. Okay, so this is from Suku. This is a Japanese brand, but they also sell it in London. Mm -hmm. Shadow, uh, the eye patch is on. Kind of gives me a little bit of a guide, too. I don't have to be too precious about it because it's going to catch anything. Mm -hmm. So I'm then going to take it and just kind of whatever was remaining on the brush, just go back and forth in the socket in a windshield wiper motion just to kind of blend and really define the crease. So then I'm going to take a brush that has a little more density to it, mm -hmm. which will take more product onto it. Mm -hmm. This is the neutral palette from YSL. And I'm just going to take the brush and kind of go on the outer corner and on the lash line. So I'm going to take this tawny brown color from the YSL palette and just kind of go on the outer lash line and then just slightly up towards the, the corner of the brow or the tip of the brow. And I'm not going to use any harsh lines with any of this look today. I want everything to be really soft and blended. So I'm not going to do like any straight eyeliner or anything. Everything's going to be really blended out. So you can still get the shape, but without any harshness. Every so often, I'm just going to take a clean brush and kind of pull everything up to blend it all together. So then I'm going to take from the same palette this kind of like shimmery peach color and take this on the lid. So we're going to move into our, our textured shadows now. So, okay, so the, what is the rule of thumb with matte and then textured eyeshadows? I just kind of figure, I don't know if there is a rule. I just know that with myself, when layering them, when I put matte over a shimmer, the shimmer kind of still comes through a little bit. Mm -hmm. So then you're kind of mixing your matte is now becoming a little bit of a shimmer. Mm -hmm. But if you press it over a matte, you can kind of stay the true color of the shadow. Right. So then I'm gonna take that same warm brown again and just really kind of go back into this crease. But I'm gonna press because I don't wanna mix them. I really just wanna press this into the corner. Oh, it's so nice. Kind of take the shield, like the patches off that I'm using as a shield, and then we kind of have a little bit of a shape that I'll obviously go and make even. You also, if you look, in, you can kind of get like a... Oh, yeah, you got a really sharp line. Yeah. So that's my little trick of, especially with dark shadows or anything, or if you're going to do a really, like, dramatic, elongated mm -hmm. eye, to always, like, put those on. And then with the corner of the sponge, I just kind of wipe everything upward. Yeah. So these are the NARS Soft Matte Concealers, mm -hmm. and I love these for under the eye and kind of like around the nose. They're just really creamy. They don't seem to crease. Yeah, so custard is um, what I am in the creamy concealer. Yeah. I like to mix the your what your color is mm -hmm. with a little bit of a lighter shade as well for just to give a little dimension to under the eye and brighten it. And then whatever's just left on the sponge, I'll always just kind of dab in between the brows and a little bit up to kind of highlight right there. Mm -hmm. Down the nose, a little on the chin. And then we shade. <laughs> My favorite. Look at that. Isn't it's it like gorgeous? a chocolate mousse. <laughs> I have to say, there is, this is a game changer bronzer. It just gives and such is this a color change. like great for everyone's skin? It's pretty tones? universal. You know, deeper skin tones will have to use obviously something a little bit deeper. Yeah. But anyone from like really fair to I say like mm -hmm. medium olive mm -hmm. can get away with using this. Mm -hmm. I like to bring it under the jawline mm -hmm. a little bit for shading, and then around the hairline. Love the way it shades everything. I'm going to take just kind of like a medium fluffy brush mm -hmm. and go back in with this kind of peachy color and kind of work it all around the eye socket on the outer corner and underneath. And again, I'm not precious about it because I just want it to be kind of like a wash of color underneath. I'm just going to put this look up on the outer corners of the eye. About third in. I feel like on any eye shape, no matter if you have gorgeous big round eyes, that if you fully line the entire eye, it's going to close it. Yeah. It's basically showing you the exact shape of the eye. Mm -hmm. So you only have that to look at. Mm -hmm. If you kind of manipulate it and take it just to the outer corners, mm -hmm. then your eye focuses on this and you kind of don't see the entire eye. You're focused right on the outside, mm -hmm. which also makes it look longer and elongated. So for this look, I'm only doing the outer corners and then lifting it, just kind of brushing it upward to give that little bit of a lift. So this is perfect actually for a hooded lid because there's no eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Eyeliner is the trickiest for a hooded lid because you put it on and then you open your eye, it transfers one, mm -hmm. and you don't see it when you look up. Mm -hmm. So eyeshadows, it's a lot easier because you can kind of look straight on into the mirror and then take the shadow to where you yeah. see the first part of your lid. Mm -hmm. Any tips for girls with hooded lids of how to wear their eyeliner? 
look straight in the mirror, make a, like for me, I have like, you can't see any of this when I look forward. So if I'm gonna do like a flick or something with mm -hmm. eyeliner, I literally have to mark right here and close my eye and look how high that actually yeah. looks on putting it. But is if I do the whole flick up in here, when I look forward, it's just gonna be just that little tip. Yeah. So you really just have to look forward and know that it's gonna be thick if yeah. you want it just to look like a little yeah. line head yeah. on. So you just gotta look straight and mark it. Good tip. So now I'm going to take a little bit of the bronzier shade from the Suku palette mm -hmm. back in this one and do that underneath as well. So I think we're in a good spot for the eye for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with a peachy color blush. This is the Tom Ford Inhibition. Oh, you really do have like a painter's stroke when you do that. <laughs> just kind of gives it really like flush. I don't want it to be full of color. I'm gonna do a couple layers of blush, so. But see, it just gives that really kind of. Mm -hmm. I love the way you do skin. Thank you. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like spending the time on it. So I have this Dior um, highlighter palette mm -hmm. and I absolutely love the look of it. It's so beautiful and the, I don't know, the color tones are just gorgeous. But I'm a little bit nervous to use it. I'm always like a little bit apprehensive with powder highlighters on right. myself when I'm doing my own makeup because sometimes I feel like they can look just unnatural in real life. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just interested to hear what your thoughts on Obviously, them are. Obviously with powders, it is gonna sit on top of the skin rather than a cream or something that's gonna you know, kind of go into the skin a little bit more. But what I like to do with powders is then go with the beauty blender and kind of press it in to really kind of mimic the skin texture. And you'll still get the sheen and the shimmer of the highlight, but it's not gonna be as powdery looking. Yeah. Which is what we don't want. We want it to all look pretty seamless. And so now I'm just gonna go in and enforce your shading with mm -hmm. the Tom Ford bronzer. Mm -hmm. This one is Terra. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna lightly, in an upward motion, go over everywhere that we put the Chanel Gorge. How we feeling? I love. I really like the way you do skin. It's like luminous but matte at the same time. I yeah. don't know how to explain it. I want to control where the, you're shiny. Yeah. So everywhere that like it looks natural and fresh is kind of highlighted, but everywhere that you want to conceal and everything, mm -hmm. you're not drawing attention to it, which is I really the highlighter. want to try these. Yeah. I feel like Highly I recommend. Really good. That's one of the things I'm really. I love the way it's looking around here. I got your skin in a good spot. Do you like to? I do like to curl my own lashes. your own. Give you a nice fresh. Had a few mirror. disasters of letting other people do it. So, pinching or lashes getting caught. Everything. All of the above. Yeah. After <laughs> 16 years in the hair and makeup chair, you'll you're, you're, definitely. You, yeah. You can do it yourself. So for mascara, I'm just using the new Revolution Chanel one. I'm really liking it. I like to pull the eye up so I can mm -hmm. just get right there at the root. And I'm gonna do another layer of mascara once I put some lashes on. Mm -hmm. so, I'm gonna... so with individuals, uh -huh. any tips for girls or boys at home on how to apply these to yourself? Because I find it really, really, really hard to do on myself. They're hard, but there's one trick mm -hmm. that will make it so much easier. Mm -hmm. So if this is you at home in the mirror and you pull off your individual lash, mm -hmm. most people will then just like, put it on like this and you're kind of making like a weird crane with mm -hmm. your hand. If you pull the lash off, mm -hmm. turn your tweezers towards you, mm -hmm. then you can just plop it right on and you have so much more control. That is such a... It's so easy and it makes <laughs> the world of difference. It seems like complete common sense, right. but I am always <laughs> this person. Just like... clench your tweezers so you don't lose the lash yeah. and just hit it towards you and then you can just go plop Yeah. rather than... Yeah. When applying on someone else, what I like to do is just kind of pull the eye back just slightly right here, and it makes the lid a little bit more taut, so you can just kind of place the lash right at the root a little bit easier. So I'm gonna take the spoolie that already had the mascara mm -hmm. on it, and just go on your bottom lashes. So I like to hold the spoolie up and down while I do bottom, mm -hmm. because if I do this, there's so many times that I'll like hit the nose or anything yeah. like that. This is a MAC shadow, it's new, it's called P for Pink. Even though it's gold. Even though it's gold, it probably like reflects some pink at some point, but looks pretty gold to it's me. Beautiful. So I'm actually just gonna use my finger and press a little bit on so that I don't use a brush and have it fall anywhere. Right in the center to draw oh, the focus. A huge difference. That's gorgeous. 
And a lot of times when you're using shimmers or glitter or anything, pressing it with your finger is gonna do better than a brush because it's uh, not gonna flick any That's product true. anywhere. I love to do this. This is the La Mer Eye Concentrate. And I like to put a little bit on my brush and roll it under your eye. Oh, okay. Over everything we've done. That's an interesting tip. So just a little bit on my finger, just to press. Kind of just reinvigorates underneath. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, I need these concealers. <laughs> They're gorgeous. I absolutely love the way you've done my skin. Oh, good. That and the eye happy. looks incredible. The colors that you've chosen are really, really pretty. So flattering and I love how it's all kind of seamlessly like blended together. Yeah, I love the blended whole, like you don't know where it starts, you just see this like yeah. shape. Because when you look in the mirror, your shadow shape really comes out to there. Mm -hmm. But it's just all very soft and diffused. So we're gonna finish the skin with this gorgeous new product. This is Glass Glow Face. I'm gonna use it on your face, but it's also so good on the skin. It just yeah. gives this really luminous glow without any heavy shimmer or like uh, like flecks of glitter. And it comes you can see on colors, my yeah. skin, it just kind of makes it like really wet and shiny rather than... Like a gel. I mm -hmm. mean, it's... And like, it's not it's, sticky though. It's not... It, it, it's yeah, wet feeling, yeah, but it's, it's not wet sticky. Feeling, but it's not sticky. We're going to do kind of a nude lip. I'm going to start with the liner. This one is Subculture. Again, just like everything on the eye, I don't want any harsh... Mm -hmm. lines. I still want it to be pretty diffused. And I'm not using a real lip brush. I'm kind of using just a fluffy mm -hmm. brush because I like to kind of paint it. Oh, it's gorgeous. And it's got like a luminosity to it as well. And it's creamy. So and then I'll just do a little bit of the peachy one right in the pout. And then we're going to top it mm. with a lip gloss. It's kind of like a peachy one, a little shimmer in it. So the very, very last thing, now that your lashes are dry, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go on the top waterline. Mm -hmm. And just kind of fill in. Love it, Kelsey. It's so pretty and easy to wear. And there's no face powder on here at all. I don't need to set it. I've pressed by pressing everything. You kind yeah. of are already doing that and ensuring it stays. Mm -hmm. And also, it defeats the point of having everything be really glowy. glowy. Love. Cool. Thank you. You were so I'm welcome. I'm really happy. It looks amazing. Or they say you get like an eighth of an orgasm. <laughs> Jealous.